I'm glad to have you on. And uh, I know yesterday we got into, so we talked about this in the first segment, the podcast. Um, you wrote a very nice uh, note on Instagram, which was entirely unnecessary. I, I, I don't want to say apologizing because you shouldn't apologize, but um, I, I hope people see that we can have a disagreement and not hate each other. I think that's actually productive. Yeah, and I think so too. And what what I said to you before we started was that there's what I always try to do with a podcast is try to have a conversation, like right. two friends just hanging out. And yeah. that's one of the, what I tried to do at the beginning. And I felt like you kind of had talking points that you wanted to go over, and I wanted to make it more conversational. So sure. I suggest we start drinking, <laughs> and yes. uh, which is fine for a little while. One, until... would, one would say you almost pressured me to begin drinking. <laughs> I would say that too. And, uh, <laughs> then it got to uh, the marijuana subject and things got a little heated. And, uh, you know, I, I make the mistake of oftentimes communicating like I would with my friends right. in what I think is just a joking and, and but aggressive way. Yeah. And I didn't. I didn't anticipate your reaction to it. And you got defensive. And one thing I didn't take into consideration that I wrote in the Instagram thing is that you get attacks a lot. This is and true. You, you get attacked a lot in a kind of a scary way. And I think you've done some really bold things and some really, really courageous things like the, the whole Muhammad thing. I mean, th you didn't have to do that and you did it. And <laughs> it's, it's a really dangerous thing. And yeah. you get attacked so much that you're always kind of thinking that someone's setting you up. And I didn't want you to think that I was setting you up and I had no sure. intention whatsoever when you came on to set you up. I genuinely like you. I think you're a good guy. Yeah. And I like talking to you and I like talking to you off air. And I was trying to kind of recreate off air, on air, and it didn't seem like it was happening at the beginning of the podcast. And so that's why I suggested booze. Well, no, I, I appreciate it. And looking back kind of on yesterday, because if you look at kind of obviously the backlash, I think for both of us involved, what do you think, and I'll say, what do you think we should have done differently to be more productive, I guess? Oh, we definitely shouldn't have gotten drunk for me. I, I wasn't um, drunk. You weren't drunk. I really wasn't drunk. No, I had no. one beer. Okay. Yeah. Well, you had a little whiskey too, right? That stuff was awful, Gentleman Jack. We'll get you some real bourbon. <laughs> we'll you... I, I kind of like the fact that it's awful. Uh, that that was not, But also, I think um, I, I need to get to know you better, like where you don't and we both don't get weird over conversations like that. Well, yeah. we can't just look at facts and pull things up. And I didn't want Jamie. To, I didn't want you to think that Jamie was ganging up on you. And that's what. Yeah where things went bad is that when you were stating something about the highway fatalities and it was contrary to what I thought yeah. was the case. And then we pulled up the facts. I didn't want you to think that we were ganging up on you. I just wanted to find out it. Was I wrong? Were you right? Were, were you wrong? Was I, what, what's what not to revisit it, not to revisit fact. it. But, but can I bring up something that I didn't have time to yesterday? Sure. And this is something I think is important because uh, respectfully, Jamie's not experienced in sourcing articles or looking up news to the same degree that, that we are. Um, so the very thing he brought up, I remember, and here's, cause I was talking about this earlier, my mental monologue, I thought, Oh no, I've screwed up here. And that's what I said, you know what, Joe, I think you're probably right. I'll give it to you. And the reason why was because Jamie brought up factcheck.org. That was the main source he brought no, up. No, he brought up Washington Post. It, well, he brought, and it was originally from the uh, factcheck.org was the source they were talking about. So there were a couple that he brought up. But I remember when he brought up okay. factcheck.org, I saw it and I thought, oh, crap, because I've read that and we've written about that. And I remember thinking, you know what? I must have read that wrong because that's actually an article we've sourced. Um, and I, I, it must have meant the opposite because right below what he highlighted it actually did say Gary Johnson was wrong. Increases in the incidences were significant. Marijuana-related traffic deaths increased by 154% between 06 to 014. This was in his source that he brought up. So my point is, I can't read it, right? And this is why I get defensive. I can't read it because the TV's not working. I can't know what Jamie's bringing up. I'm going on memory. He has a never-ending cheat sheet. And um, uh, there's no way that I can, can argue with that. And I would say, you're right about this. I'm incorrect. When I get defensive, it was when two people are saying, admit that you're lying, that it's bullshit. And I really, looking at his own sources, I, I don't think I was. Well, I don't think we were saying you were lying. What I think we were saying is you were incorrect. And right. I have read multiple things that said that the traffic fatalities decreased, particularly in Colorado. Right. Who's right or who's wrong? I don't know. I mean, we'd have to go seriously digging. Right. But the his own source said that's wrong, is my point. And, I, and in real time, I can't fact check him because I don't have a computer, right? Right. And he brought up also that that could also be attributed to the fact that the population of, of uh, Denver, Colorado, increased substantially once marijuana became legal as sure. well. You have to factor that in. Right. Um, I, think, I think when you're talking about driving impaired, I do not think that marijuana has the same effect as alcohol. It certainly doesn't. However, 
I don't think it's a good idea to drive f- up, right. whether you're on marijuana, especially on edibles. I mean, edibles well, hold have... On, hold on a second. That wasn't even a part of the equation. <laughs> I, I really would advise against that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we both dug in our heels and we agreed probably on a lot more than we disagreed. I think you're right. I think we definitely both dug in our heels. And like I said, there's a, a lot involved in that. First of all, I got a hangover from this guy pipe that you left me. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to send like, you an article on how to use it properly. Oh, yeah. The tobacco. I was high as a kite from it for sure. From the tobacco? Yes. Yeah. Before I, I even started drinking, my, I was, my head was spinning because I, I definitely was inhaling a bunch of times. Where, you shouldn't you know, do that. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I, no, no, and I don't say that because of high. I said because you can actually get little flecks of tobacco in your lungs. That's not filtered. Yeah, I just got here from a yoga class. I took a ninety-minute yoga class. I might have coughed some of that up in there. <laughs> you might cough it up. <laughs> I, I might have some little flakes of tobacco might have come out. Why is Joe behaving like the girl from The Exorcist? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah um, and I would say this. I will say in my mind, too. So I, I thought, well, did I screw up? And I looked back now, and we talked about it early in the show. I, I, I don't think I did. I don't back down the statements that I've made as far as my position. I, I don't think that you're wrong. My point is, if you look at the articles and how we sourced it, I knew we weren't bullshitting. And I know because, like you said, the left is always going, they're full of shit. This is a lie. I know. Hold on a second. This went up. We had a AAA study, the fact check study. There's a difference between bullshit and having a difference of opinion looking at interpreting data. And, uh, and I wanted to make that clear. Because I, I, I still, I will still say, the jury can be out. And you, you may be right. But um, it was certainly, I think, a study worthy of note. And then on my side, what I would change is, because I know you're Joe Rogan, obviously. Al- I mean, alpha brain, alpha male. I've seen you run roughshod over people who are like, well... Okay, Joe, and they get scared, and I didn't want to be that guy, because I knew you wouldn't respect that guy who just goes, okay. Maybe you would. Well, I I mean, I didn't want you to be defensive, if if that's what you mean. I didn't expect you to dig your heels in. I didn't expect you to be submissive either. I just wanted to have a conversation. Yeah. It just didn't go. It just didn't go well. You know, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's just, a bunch of actors. It it's only part of it that didn't go well, which is fascinating because we had a five-hour five hour podcast. I mean, that was a fucking long podcast. Yeah. And out of that podcast, what was it like? Twenty minutes of it, we talked about pot, and that's all anybody is focusing on. Which is, but that's well, like that's because that's what Jamie uploaded as a highlight too. No, he didn't. Oh, did he somebody didn't? uploaded didn't? as a highlight. Maybe somebody else did. I don't know. No, I think somebody else did. Yeah. But the, either way, the the conversations that we had before that were very civil. Yeah. And, and, and then we ended very civil, too. But right. I think people have this tendency to gravitate towards conflict. They enjoy it. It's yeah. like, have you ever gone to, I'm sure you have, you go to a fighter's page after a, a UFC bout and you read all the shit talk yeah. that people say to them? I mean, it's horrendous. Uh, I mean, my favorite page is Mark Hunt's after his fights or something happens. You just read it. He's just like fucking steroids, mate. Everything. It just goes in and he just uh, they hang me out to dry. F*** the UFC. F*** you. F*** Brock Lesnar. You're sitting there like, it's Mark, just well, tone it back. This is going to be admissible. Just, that was Mark. I was talking about fans. I yeah. mean, fans like like after like Ronda Rousey recently lost, I went and checked like some of her, you know, like the online things, the yeah. things that people were saying about her. I mean, people love, they love jumping in on something that really doesn't they're not really connected to it, but they connect yeah. themselves to it. They love conflict where essentially nothing is at stake for them, yeah. but they can really get whatever rocks off they have. Okay, thank you so much for being here, sir. We appreciate it. I'm glad hopefully people see uh, see this and think, oh, okay, well, listen, maybe they don't hate each other. I no, will... dude, I don't hate you at all. I think you're a good guy, and that's why I made that Instagram post. And I saw this back and forth both ways. People mad at you. People mad at me. It was just so stupid. And it was just, uh, you know, a a drunken hiccup in a long conversation. (laughs) Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.